ships go way back to Joseph Smith, Orson Spencer, who uh, was sent to Europe by Joseph Smith and managed it. Hopefully he did a good job. I think he did because there's a lot of Europeans involved and a lot of them are still migrating and joining the church. Uh, the hymn book I love, I don't know what he did. Some of the things I remember in the hymn book as a child, I wrote it down. You're not making me nervous. <sighs> Stand beside me, guide me. I'm a child of God. I know he's a child of God. The other day I got to spend some time with him on the dining room table, the Book of Mormon, Doctrine and Covenants, the Great Price. Not like my books. My books are in my closet. They were on his dining room table. And they looked like they were very, very well read. Uh, Alan was very good in mathematics. He had taken accounting classes. He loved working with his hands, though. So he was a machinist for many, many years. He loved working with wood. And uh, when he got sick, he loved exercise. Uh, when he met Alice, he was riding bicycles. And uh, he and Alice went to the doctor. The doctor told Alice, I'm putting you in a wheelchair. Alan, the woman she knew him really good, and his little short, Kurt Wade says, no, nope, she's not going in a wheelchair. We're going for a bike ride. <laughs> Six months later, after they left San Diego, they got into Sacramento. <clears throat> Sacramento was where he got sick, came down with cancer. We had two brothers, came down with cancer at the same time. Alan had this will be desiring to arrive, to stay alive, cut half his lung out, still go out with his bicycle, and he would collect plastic aluminum cans. He says one time to me, he says, I'm leaning over this trash can, picking up the recyclables, and some guy tapped me on the shoulder and says, here, here's 20 bucks. He says, that was good. Uh, so he continued with this recycling, going out with the aluminum cans. Uh, one of the conversations we had was, I got almost enough money to go see my grandkids. Big part, big part of his life. He loved the kids. You know, he was he lived to the kids. He talked about going to Vegas, and I guess this month he uh, he's. And he's still going to be around to witness the birth of two great grandchildren. Uh, <coughs> the only thing I can think of right now is that Ralph, or Ralph, that's my other brother. Uh, <coughs> a couple of things from John here. It says, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger. And he who believes in me will never thirst. And I know that he knows. And he lives today. Uh, I know that he would never, like President Watson says, people that have dropped out of the church, he called them, uh, what did President, President Watson call them? Sweet potatoes. Or sugar beets. Sugar beets. He said, we got to go back and get those sugar beets. They've fallen away, and it's time to go get them. And I'm sure that's what he did. In this building here, I witnessed Alice being baptized. By my brother. Um, I'm a for now, and I know that President Monson is a true
true man of God. I know the church is true. I leave this with you. Thank you.